Welcome to this CAD Image Tools 3D Profiler tutorial. In this tutorial, we'll look at how we can create trims that form a great detail element within our building, both around doors and as scotias. Firstly, we'll create a trim that follows around this door. Easiest way to create that is going to be in an elevation. Open up our elevation and see the elevation of our door here. So gothic arch door. What we're going to do is use our polyline to trace the shape of our door. Give it the correct curves. Now we have the path of our profile. We can go and create a profile that we want to use. I've already created a profile that I'm going to use, which is this fill shape here. If you don't know how to create a profile, we do have another tutorial video on how to create a profile. Once you've created the profile, you can select the path, the polyline, Choose Profile Manager, 3D Profiler, and extrude along selected elements. I'm going to use a general extrusion, a custom profile, and find our profile that we're going to use. I'll put this in my desktop, called it Window Trim. There it is. Now, my profile's followed my path around, except it looks like it's mirrored itself. So I'm going to select it, go into its settings, and flip it over. It's a good idea to have a look in 3D. So there we go. There's my profile following the shape of my arch. Back in plan, your profile that you've drawn will be, have been created in line with your section or elevation line. And you can simply use the drag to move it back into position. Here it is. Next we'll create a cornice around the top of our room. Again, I've used a fill to draw the shape of my cornice. That could be a manufacturer's one. And again, I'm going to use a quick polyline to describe the path that I wish to use. Select that path, CAD image, 3D profiler, extrude along selected elements. You could also use a, use a defined path if you haven't drawn a polyline. Load your 3D profile. may also like to change your material. And there's your 3D profile following that path. Again, if we have a look in 3D, we can move it into position. So we're starting to get a much more detailed model. Have a look at elevation as well. There's our 3D profile. These 3D profiles that you create can run a bear in as skirting, 
mid-height trims, anywhere that you can get a trim to place. So often creating them in plan sometimes, section other times, depending on how you want them to be presented. So that's how we create trims or profile extrusions of cornices for our building using 3D Profiler.